Hello, this is the Happy Vanna Pokemon Podcast with your host Dan and Nick. We talk about everything Pokemon. Oh yeah, and today we're it's our tenth episode. Tenth episode, all right. So today we do have a special guest star. Yeah, we do. It's my brother. Hello. It's Mark. Mark. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> so, so that's uh what we're gonna do today. Uh, we're gonna go through what we're gonna so, do today. Uh, we're gonna open up our pack. We got. Uh, what do we, do? What do we? Oh, we're gonna go over the, <laughs> the league battle deck. The league, the league battle deck, right? Yeah, and uh, just a quick review of that. Um, Mark is gonna go. We're gonna go over our pack. Then Mark is gonna go over his top ten favorite Pokemon of all time. And then me and Dad made a joint list of our top ten favorite grass Pokemon. Yep, the grass Pokemon. That's what we're doing. So uh, we'll do our top ten uh, favorite grass Pokemon. So here we go. We're gonna get started and. Uh, we're gonna talk about that uh, the battle deck first, right? Yeah. Uh, so I did some play with it um, during the week, and it plays rather well. But uh, getting up against that Charizard deck, it doesn't fare very well against that. No. So, but it's nice to have those Jirachis in there. The more skilled player should play the Picaron deck. Picaron, right? Picaron. Yeah, Pikachu deck. Okay, Pikachu. Pikachu, Zekrom. I don't... Well, I don't know. Yeah, yeah. if you're going to play it against the Charizard, you want the better player to be playing the Pikachu, uh, Zekrom deck. Um, I do like it. It does have a lot of good Pokemon in it. Um, you know, I, I would put Boss's Orders in there. Ever put Boss's Orders in everything. I think so. I think it's needed in every single Except deck. Except for, like, Unknown. Yeah, so... But uh, the deck played pretty well overall, and uh, I really liked it. So... Yeah. Let's move um, on to our pack. What do you say? Or do you got more to say? Sorry if I'm jumping with Gunnaman. I know you're really excited about I this know, pack I today. I like the pack. It's real exciting. So, um, no, I think that's it. Uh, that's going to be it for the League Battle deck. Uh, definitely, it should be played against none, uh, more of a beginner players. Uh, somebody that has an idea to play and that can go against the Charizard deck. So, yeah. that's all I really got to say about that. All right, let's get into our pack. Well, uh, what we're going to do this week is, since it's oh, yeah. our 10th ten, episode, we're going to give the code card for, Pokemon, we're going to give the code card for uh, the pack, and we are also going to give bonus an, codes. Bonus codes. Yes, bonus, bonus codes. And one of the bonus codes that we have is, we have the Requ the Requaza promo. Right. And a Sun and Moon base set pack. Ooh. And the Duraladon promo. Right. And a Galarian Obstagoon promo. Yep. So we got a, a quite a few different different uh, quite a different uh, a quite variety. a few yeah of codes. And the only way you're gonna get all the codes is if you guess the right type of energy. Now, everybody can guess, but the first one to get the right energy will win all the codes. Now, if you guess and, you know, you guess the wrong energy, then um, then it will, it will be just that. It will be uh, just a code for this pack. Did we have any guesses from last week? We did have guesses from last week. All righty. And, you know, we always talk where, where you talk about that at the end. So Yeah, we yeah, will... we do. I we forgot will about have that, that for at a the end, and we'll see what that is. Yeah, alrighty, let's. Open. So let's rip into that pack and see what we get. Alrighty, here comes a good pack. I'm guessing electricity. Ooh, I'm guessing uh, darkness. I'll guess fire. Okay. There it is. There it is. Let's there see it that. Is. I see that. All right. First, we have the Metapod 80 uh, Stage One 80 HP Grass type. Its ability Adaptive Evolution. This Pokemon can evolve during its first turn of Termi. Play it to colorless energy, bram, 20 damage. Weakness is fire, retreat is three. Oh, what the heck? Is there a crease in our card? No. Is there a crease in our card? I mean, if you look at the lighting right. What? See that line? Dang, there's a crease in the card. Brand new card with crease. I don't know. Maybe it's a print mark. Hopefully. So. Alrighty, so uh, next we have a Heliosk, stage one, 110 HP, electric type. First attack is Eerie Impulse for one electric energy. Flip coin of heads. Discard an energy from one of your opponent's active Pokemon. Second attack, Thunder, 120 damage for one electric, one colorless. This, this Pokemon also does 30 damage to itself. Weakness is fighting. Retreat is one. 
Oh, we've oh, never seen this card before. Ooh, new one. It is an item. It is the Burning Scarf. It's a tool. The rule of the tool. The rule of the tool. Is attach a Pokemon tool to one of your Pokemon that doesn't already have a Pokemon tool attached. Yeah, we're going to say the rule of the tool because we're not going to have any tools in yeah, we, other than Yeah, we this. won't get our rule of the tool in. Yeah, so. If the uh, fire Pokemon this card is attached to and is in the active spot and is damaged by an opponent... Opponents attacked, even if it's knocked out, the attacking Pokemon is now burned. Not bad for a fire deck. No, not bad for a fire deck. Next, we have a basic Pokemon. It is the Dreepy, 60 HP, Psychic type. First, uh, its only attack is Quick Attack for one Psychic. Uh, 10 damage, flip coin if heads, the stack does 10 more damage. Its weakness is Darkness, Resistance is Fighting, and Retreat is 1. I think we've seen that one before, huh? We've seen a few. We've yeah. seen all of them before. Well, we haven't seen the Burning Scarf. We haven't seen this one before either. Oh, okay. Next, we have the Snover, 90 HP, Grass type, basic Pokemon. For two colorless, it has Beat, 20 damage. For Grass and two colorless, it has Razor Leaf, 50 damage. Weakness is Fire, and Retreat is three. All right. Next, we have the Binnacle, 80 HP, Fighting type. Here, one Fighting and two colorless. Dual Trap, 50 damage. Flip two coins, this attack is 50 damage for each head. Weakness is Grass, and Retreat is two. Okay. Next we have the Galarian Darumaka. It is a basic Pokemon, 80 HP water type. First attack is Ice Punch for one water, one colorless. Does 30 damage. And what does is flip coin. If heads, your opponent's active Pokemon is now paralyzed. We just steal. Treat is two. Darumaka. Darumaka. <laughs> That's a Generation 5 Pokemon. It's right funny there. though. It's funny. Evolution looks goofier if you ask me. No, oh, well, what are you going to do? Next we have a basic Pokemon. It is the Vulpix. We've been over my yeah, time. Yeah, we've been over to Vulpix. We skipping him? Uh, sure. Let's skip him. Oh, sure. we could skip this one too. It's in Reverse Hollow Galarian Darumaka. All right. Your favorite. The Reverse Hollow. You were making fun of him. Yeah. yeah. To show you up. Next we have. Ooh, we haven't seen this one. Before. This is a new one for us. This is a Stage Two. It is a Colossal, uh, 160 HP Fighting type. We don't see very many stage twos. No. It is a hollow, so that's pretty yeah, cool. Yeah, it is pretty cool. It has an ability, which is Tar Generator. Once during your turn, you may attach a fire energy card, a fighting energy. Wait, attach a fire energy card, a fighting energy card, or one of each from your discard pile to one of your Pokemon in any way you like. It. I've got to read the whole thing. Now, what does he sense. evolve from? Uh, the Carcal. The we, Carcal? Okay. We pulled it. One or two of those before. I think so. Yeah, yeah. Okay. Then it's uh second. Its only attack is Flaming Avalanche for one fighting and three colorless, 130 damage. Weakness is Grass. Retreat is a whopping four. Woo! That's nice. A, that's our pack. That's the wrap for the pack. So like the once again, wrap. like we said, once again, uh, if you do guess the energy, and uh, we do want people to guess the energy. If you guess the energy correctly. You will get more than just the regular pack code. There will be other codes that we are going to send to you. But you do need to guess the right one. If you just guess and it's wrong, guess again. You don't, you don't have to day. just guess. You, you got to wait till yeah. the next day to guess again. Yeah, you got you got a week. You can get them all in. You can guess one a day and you'll eventually get it. Well, you got till Tuesday. Which is like one a day. Well, not a week, though, is what I'm saying. All right, you got till Tuesday. So it's just about a week. So you can guess one a day. And you should be able to get it within that within a week. So, with that being said, we are going to get Mark on here, and he's going to start talking about his top ten list. Exciting. So, yeah, it's going to be real exciting. So here we go, Mark. Okay, so my number one or my number ten pick was Tyranitar. Ooh. I picked it because um, I I use it in competitive uh, online VGC uh, video game competition. So. It's really good there. So, like, what kind of video game uh, do, you, do you play that on? You play that on... Uh, I play it on Pokemon Sword. Sword? Okay, you play or Sword. Or no, Shield, sorry. <laughs> okay, well... Yeah, Sword. They're, are, they're real similar, though, so... Yeah, yeah. They're I get it. Much same game. Yeah. I get it. So, the, so you like it for that that reason? Um, yeah, it's fun to use. And okay. Good. The card you got pulled up here is the uh, Tyranitar, and he's pretty cool and looking. Fates Collide, yeah. Yeah, Fates Collide, so he's... Older. He's, Pretty cool looking uh, card. Cool looking Pokemon. Pretty big. He is uh, a whopping 445 pounds. Yeah. Yeah. Standing 6'7", almost as tall six as two. Nick. Oh, yeah, that's 6'7". <laughs> oh, he's taller than Nick. He towers a little bit over Nick, so. Only by like half an inch. Whatever. <laughs> Whatever. 
He's also on the Sableye and anti GX tag team. Mega Sableye. That's Ma- Mega Sableye, yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah. yeah so. I just saw the Sableye. Doesn't see a lot of play. Yeah, it doesn't see a lot no. of play. He does Mega Evolve. <laughs> That's cool. I think it's played in, um... It, or it used to be played in Dark Box. Oh, maybe. Point. Maybe. so. Or maybe just teched. Cool. Cool. Good one to start with. Good yeah. strong start. I like it. Yeah. I like it. Yeah. Okay. All right. My number nine is Rylaboom. Rylaboom. Ooh, that's a good one too. Yeah. Uh, now, do you like Rylaboom more for uh, for the online gaming or? Yes, and he also looks really cool as well. So, so, uh, so the um. In the in the TCG, it has the ability Volt B, which allows you to attach two Grass Energy from your deck to your Pokemon. And is it any way you like, or just two to your Pokemon? Which one? I'm sorry. Volt which... B, the Volt B one. Volt. Uh, attach them to one of your Pokemon. Yeah. A voltage and, B. Yeah. Attach two energies. Yeah. yeah. Once during your turn, you may search your deck for up to two Grass Energy and attach them to one of your Pokemon. Then shuffle your deck. Yeah, so, so it has the setup. Yeah, it's definitely a good setup card. Yeah, so in the um, VGC, it has the ability uh, Grassy Terrain, which sets Grassy Terrain. And that lets your grass attacks do uh, 1.3 times damage. I thought it was 1.5 now. No, they changed it. Oh, boo. Yeah, so, and it also heals you uh, in between turns. So that's why he's number nine. My mm-hmm. number. My number eight is Metagross. He has some cool hair, though. Metagross, huh? He yeah. has fine hair. Yeah, and that's pretty cool, too. <laughs> Met- so, Metagross is my number eight because um, I used to play um, the GX online because of its Geotech system. Once during your turn, you may attach a Psychic or Steel Energy card from your discard pile to your active Pokemon. So, you just, uh, you just had, like... Three energy on one, retreat them, and you just geotech system three energy back onto another active Metagross. Now he might be good uh, for expanded with Zacian. He might go good good hand yeah, in hand yeah. with Zacian, you know? Yeah, charge him up really quick. Yeah, help charge up that Zacian. It's pretty cool looking too. Yeah, he's definitely cool looking Pokemon, especially the GX. Yeah. yeah. And he also makes Evolves too. Do they have one in Fates Collide, a shiny one? Because that would have been really cool. I don't, I don't think so. Believe so. I don't. Oh wait, that might be it right there. The fuller one. The fuller one. Right next to the fuller. Huh? Right there. Oh yeah, they did. Oh. That's, that's not, not fate Fates Collide. It's Hidden Fates. Oh, Hidden Fate. Yeah, <laughs> Hidden Fates. You know what I mean. Yeah. <laughs> we did not know. Okay. What you we mean. we weren't sure. <laughs> yeah. We were all very confused. All right. For our listeners, we were all very confused. Yeah. But yeah. we cleared it up. It, it was a. Tassel. It was a stickler of a situation. Not, not fate. Tassel with the hassle. We had the fates collide on the Tyranitar earlier, right. so that was in my head. So it got us a little, True. little backwards on that. But yeah, that uh, he's definitely a cool looking Pokemon. He's he's really quite cool. Uh, what do you have to say? You know me? Think? Yeah, you. He's like um like a metal spider, looking with four legs. Yeah, he yeah. He play. He probably seen a lot of play in. Uh, Older what formats too, right? Yeah, uh, well, the older format, yeah, he's probably probably be uh, really heavily played. So, um, but now that he's out of rotation, unfortunately, uh, just expanded. He's coming back. Yep. He's coming back. Uh, I'm sure. Let's hope so, right? Anyone. All right. So my number seven is Amphros. Ooh, Ooh Amphros. Amphros is pretty cool. Forgot about Amphros. Yeah. So I chose Amphros because. Um, it was like the first kind of deck I made. Uh, uh, the first deck I made. It had uh, Amphros and its ability. Uh, its ability let you put three damage counters on Pokemon, uh, your opponent's Pokemon EX. So it was played just for the EX uh, to de- to deal with the EXs, and right. that was a lot of fun to d- do. I've always liked Ampros. I, I always liked the Ampros cool. yeah. too. He's like a, 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 he has a very long neck. It, uh, so yeah, that's, that's the, that's really the main reason why I liked it. It, it was a lot of fun to play. I played like, um, did I play like a 
three one. I think it was a three. The three shocking one, three. light. The yeah, shocking, shocking light. light. One. Three damage counters on one of your Pokemon EX. Yep. I played this in like the very beginning, and I played. Yeah, it did a lot of damage when you started to have like three or four out. It was 120 damage each turn if you had four out on two EXs at least. And then it's uh, normal attack isn't that good. For two lightning and a colorless energy, it does 80 damage. Flip a coin if heads this attack, uh, this attack does 40 more damage. If Tails, your opponent's active Pokemon, is now paralyzed. Not bad. Not bad. No, not bad. That's a win-win. Yeah. Yeah. It's pretty good. Uh, it's a high cost, I guess. Yeah, it's a little expensive. But we're also talking about a stage two, so by that time, by the time you get him up to that stage two, he should have that energy on him, you would think. Yeah. Yeah, and it was a lot of fun to play in the beginning, especially with just well, the EXs around. Yeah, when, and not learning the beginning, a little bit. But when you yeah. started. Yeah, when you when started, started learning. So, yeah, I get you. I get you. And uh, the Mega is quite the do. Hair the do. Mega is quite <laughs> yeah, the do. Hairdo, that is. The Mega is pretty crazy. All right, it won't be there. The Mega won't be there? Oh. No, because um, it'll, yeah, it'll, it'll only be in the X. I it tell you, though. I'll tell you, though, huh? Flowing white hair. Yeah. <laughs> they uh, Didn't they make it into a dragon type in the game? Did they? I think so. That's kind of scary, but cool. Yeah. Uh, all right, so my number six pick is Cinderace. I like Cinderace because... I mean, I picked it as my starter in the game, and he's also really good in the game. He has uh, the ability Libero, which allows him to change his type with uh, when you attack. Oh, well, that's pretty cool. Yeah. And that's in the game, the... Yeah, the video game. The VGC. sword, you said? You have sword? I have shield. Shield, okay. Yeah. Okay. Nick has sword. Nick yeah. has sword, okay. Uh -huh. I haven't made a VGC team, though. No. So I've I've been trying to get better at it, and I've been watching some people play uh, yeah, so I like Cinderace just because, um, it looks cool, it's like, it kind of, it's kind of like a soccer player, I used to like soccer when I was younger, a little bit, but, Okay. yeah, um, he's pretty cool looking, yeah, he looks cool, he looks, he looks like a rabbit, he look, yeah, he looks like a rabbit, I was gonna say, he looks like a better version of Delphox, if you ask me, you think so, uh, yeah, I don't know. All, right. all right, it has like the ears, and it has like the kind of fox look, it, Although he, it has a flattened face karate, instead of like the I no. I think he's a karate guy, another karate yeah, guy. Yeah, where the Delph Fox is like a witch, I guess. Another but... karate guy. <laughs> Not guy. like the channeler. The, <laughs> the channeler was the karate he guy. He was the, the karate guy. Yeah. The karate guy. Yeah, so. Alright, so my number five was Buzzwool. Oh, Buzzwool. Ooh. Ooh, I called it. That's you what did. I was saying earlier. You did. I can verify. Yeah, so I chose Buzzwool because it was. Uh, I used it. Uh -oh. uh, for, I used it for regional, our first regionals we went to, but it didn't do very well against what we were playing against. It, I think what we were playing against had a resistance actually to it. Oh. We, we all played against like a lot of, um, I don't think it Dusk had, Ming, Necrozma. I don't think it Dusk had Ming? resistant though, because I did play Raichu GX and I know that had, it was resistant to electric, electricity. What? Is, is I thought electricity was weak to... No, electricity is weak to fighting. Yeah. 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 What? So, steel's resistant to electricity. Oh. I thought I thought it was... Is it weak to fighting, then? Maybe. Well, he's weak to psychic. He's weak to psychic. So, uh... So, its first move is jet punch. It does 30 damage, and then 30 to one of your benched. So, you use that with, uh... Regirock, EX... It lets you do 10 more damage. You had Choice Band normally, which lets you do 30 damage, 30 more damage to GXs and EXs. And you also had Diancy uh, Prism, which yeah, that was lets a you fun do deck. 20 more. Yeah, yeah fun that was deck. that was fun, but um, it didn't do very well at the regionals. Yeah, we weren't we weren't really prepared for the meta then. Yeah, a little uh, outmatched there with the uh, Buzzle, because I guess our regionals was. Uh, Along with a new set a new that set came, released, came and out. we didn't have any of that set right then. Yeah, so it was hard to keep up with that. So we bought a booster, bo that booster box there. Yeah, that so. was Ultra Prism, and we got the Full yep. Art Cynthia. Yep, we got Full Art Cynthia, and we got a Secret Rare um, Dusk Main. Yeah, too. probably. No, yeah. we did. We I did? remember you oh. getting. I think you got rid of it actually, just because it was a little more than. 
I don't know. I remember there was Pokemon Smack Talk. Pokemon Smack Talk in the lobby of the hotel. Yeah. Yeah, that was yeah. pretty funny. That's a good time. So, okay. Yeah. This, why wasn't this number five? Four? Yeah, my num- uh, that was number five. My number four pick is Alakazam. Ooh. Called it again. There we go, another one. Yeah, I so I used to play uh, Mega Alakazam. Yeah, Spoonmaster. Uh, and so, I don't I don't remember what it did off the top of my head. But, I believe it was a spread, right? Oh, so it did it did like thirty more damage for each damage counter on your okay on your Pokemon so on your opponent's Pokemon. Super cool, heavy hitter. Yeah, so it was kind of like. Mega Mewtwo, but not as good because Mega Mewtwo's Mega Mewtwo's damage counter, no energy, and yeah. because this is damage counter. Right. So we know. Uh, so what's going on with Pokemon then? Why are why have we seen another Alkazam? We know he's in base set. Yeah. And he's in all kinds of other sets, but the last time we saw him was in EX. Yeah. This ain't fair for us. Pokemon yeah, they should make another slacker. One. I think they're hiding it. Yeah. And they're waiting for the right they time to bring it on us. They should have made yeah. a tag team. Alakazam and... and uh, who? Hypno. They can't... Hypno. Hypno. Oh, yeah. Hypno. Oh, did there they... They didn't make that, did they? They didn't make anybody. I thought, I thought they Hypno were... Hypno hasn't been around in a long time, we, too. We talked about that Alakazam Hypno in the base set video, didn't we? I don't know. Check out our I base thought, set video. Yeah, check it's out the base one. set. Yeah, it's a good one. We like that one. Yeah, I thought I heard it from somewhere. I, he definitely, I just uh, Alakazam de- definitely needs to come make a comeback. He's the definitely the spoon master. Uh, Likes those Reese's Puffs. This is a this one we're looking at here. The Alakazam EX is absolutely one of the coolest looking arts I've yeah, seen in a while. Yeah, it's really Which cool. one, the secret rare or the yeah, cool art? Yeah, the, the secret, the secret rare. rare with the Lugia behind the Lugia and Umbreon behind. Yeah, it. that's that, really cool. That I is like really the full cool. Art more to be honest. Uh, you do, huh? Yeah, well, I don't like how the golden background matches kind of with his yellow skin. I think that's... I like that better. Yeah, I think I like it better, too. You know? And, like, it shows the claws in his feet, which is cool. And his mustache almost goes to... It's on the board. You don't like that? I mean, you got your own opinion. That's yeah, fine if you don't like yeah, it. Yeah, I'm, yeah, not, and the, I'm and, not knocking you. I'm just surprised. And also the lightning bolts in the back kind of like... He kind of looks like Batman now that I think about it. With the lightning in the back and him falling down with his arms up. With the spoon. And the must... Yeah. And the mustache What is this over here? Side. What is that? That's, That's Lugia. Lugia. No, above the Lugia's head. A chicken nugget. A it looks like a chicken nugget, doesn't it? <laughs> yeah. I'm not disagreeing bit. with you. It looks yeah. like a chicken nugget. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. But that's not Lugia. I know that. No. This here is Lugia. It looks there. Like a cloud. It's probably just a cloud. I like the beard on the Mega though. Are we sure that's yeah. Lugia and not Latios? That's Lugia. <laughs> you can tell by his back spikes. Oh, yeah. I got you. Yeah. Okay. All right. All right. All right so cool. my number three is Zekrom. Wait, Alakazam. Cool. Alakazam. Cool yeah, shoes. it's really cool. I thought it's gonna be your number one, but. Yeah. What no. are we gonna do? All what right. are we gonna do? <laughs> We're gonna move on. We're gonna move. We're, we're gonna, gonna move, move on. on. So, all right. All let's right. Go like ahead. I like I was saying, number three is Zekrom. Zekrom. Yeah. So it was my first legendary in the games. It was. Uh, it's all. It's a lot of fun to play with in Pikachu Zekrom, obviously. With Pikachu Zekrom, it's. And um. And what? And it, it's just a lot of fun to play. So. Um, yeah, it was my first legendary. It it's attack full full blitz 150. Search your deck for up to three uh, lightning energy cards and attach them to your Pokemon any way you want. No, attach them to your Pokemon. It doesn't say any way you you want. Yeah, so you pick a Pokemon and you pick catch. a Pokemon and attach them all, all three. That's what you get. And then I I mean some some people play the Zekrom with the. The Reshiram, the Reshiram Zekrom, yeah, too. That made an appearance in a review and, of the Raichu yeah. deck, so check yes. out that. Yes, it sure did. The Pikachu Zekrom made an appearance in our last podcast, so check out that, too. Yeah, so I was actually playing with the Pikachu Zekrom against the Reshiram Charizard deck, and and as, uh, as they said, it doesn't do very well against, against uh, Charizard. The Charizard, Reshiram Charizard. It's a, it's a little too fast, I think, for Pikachu Zekrom. I don't think the starter deck was really made to fight 
a super offensive thing like Rush Ram Charizard. It's very good, though, against, like, most other things. And well, Now, looking back a little bit, we, we see this, uh, I, ha I have up on the computer a picture of the Zacron from Black and White. Full art? Yeah, it's, full art. it looks really That's, good. That looks really cool. They, All black. Yeah, they also silver outline. Do like it. Yeah, they also have a rush ram like that too, with the but it's all white instead, obviously. Cool. Because it's with black and white. Right. Yeah, yeah black and white. So. And then they remade the card later, and um, I don't know what set that is. No, not he, off the top. I of mean, he, the base the base one isn't playing so much, but uh, like we said, he plays good with the Pikachu. The tag oh, team ones being played. The rush ram and Zach is there even Zach a standard basic one? I don't think so. Yeah, maybe not. I know it's in Shining oh, Legends. Oh, there, there's one. Yeah, Shining Legends. That's not in though, is it? No, it's not. I didn't think so. What do we have next? Oh, Dragon Majesties. Yeah. No, that's the Shining Legends one. We that's don't the that Shining one. Legends one? Yep. yep. Yeah, can't play him, huh? Shining Legends was the best set that we had in a while, if you ask me. Uh, I liked it. What about the promo? Oh, the promo. promo. I don't think the promo is being played too much. I don't think it's being played too much anymore. But. Bullet uppercut, 10 damage. If your opponent's active Pokemon is a Pokemon GX or a Pokemon EX, this attack does 60 more damage. This attack is unaffected by... Yeah, it's that's not, not bad. too bad. Not bad for one. But all its other attacks are super expensive. Three, like, but if you're, colorless for... Well, but if you're playing with um, yeah, the Pikachu... If you're playing with the, the Pikachu, that's wrong. It just, just might be a nice Hail Mary. Nice Hail yeah. Mary at the end. Oh, come on, Zekrom GX! Yeah, yeah, with that swift bolt strike, the coin flip. Yeah, two heads, you, uh, for each head, you get 60 more damage. Yeah, so that's worth it. Yeah. Yeah, And if you're playing, plus, uh... You could do up to 200 playing, damage. What's that one card we can play to get all heads? Um, Will? Victine. No, 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 no. Oh, all the, heads. The, the, the uh, supporter. Supporter lets you put heads automatically? Yeah, yeah. Um, really? Boy, boys. I don't know. It's not coming to me. We're off them. You'll head. see a picture of it on the screen, though. Yeah, I will. So, okay. Well, let's go on to our next Pokemon, then. I'll, All right. I'll add it. Okay, so my... I'll add it to the... When I'm editing. You'll add it to the... When you're editing? Yeah. You won't see it on the screen unless you rewatch the video. Well, what the heck? Uh, it is Will. It is Will. Okay, so yeah. my... Yeah, so next... So it says here for Will... Um, Will is a supporter, by the way. And the next time you flip any number of coins for the effect of an attack or a, attack, ability, or trainer card this turn, choose heads or tails for the first coin flip. So you're automatically doing 60 more damage. Yeah. Oh. That's pretty good. With Will. Yeah. So that's good. Yeah, Will's so you're man. doing, what, 120? No, 140. Well, well yeah, next yeah, 140 because 80 plus 60 is 140. How long yeah. can you have this going? Just one turn? Yeah, just one turn. Yeah, okay, just one turn. One turn. Play it at the beginning of the game and stack them. Right. So. That's, yeah. That's where we're at on that. Cool. So my number two is uh, Rayquaza. Oh, I you called, called this Rayquaza. One. That's right. It was. <laughs> it's really fun. It was really fun to play and expanded uh, with the, what what is it? Ho ho, ho ho ex. Sure. Hello. And well, oh, and the Mega Rayquaza, obviously. It well, they won Worlds one year. They did make the uh, the battle deck. The last battle deck before oh, yeah, these yeah. two is a Rayquaza battle deck. Yeah. So we that. he's definitely a he's good one really to good. have, you know. And you have the chance to win a Rayquaza code if you oh, guess yeah. energy correctly. If you guess energy, Rayquaza code. So there we go. We're yes. putting Rayquaza out there. Yeah. So it was the GX deck and expanded was really fun, and uh, and the Mega won Worlds and that's also really fun to play and expanded. Yeah. Um, yeah, so... He's definitely a great card. Uh, he's a real cool-looking Pokemon, too, as we've talked about. He's a and, winner. Yeah, and yours, right? And, uh, yeah, he's, he was one. He was in my top ten. He's number nine, not number ten? Ten. Number ten, yeah. So, I'm glad you might rank, rank them up higher than I did, so... Yeah, uh, so you play him with the Ho-Ho from some black and white set. Right. Which lets you... when the it's EX, in the EX, right? Yeah, EX. When you flip a coin, you, uh... Can attach 
two energy from your discard, or no, it's up to three energy, three different energy from your discard to it, to it and put it on your bench. Right. And then you, um, then you just deal damage with the uh, Rayquaza, which does more damage for each lightning and grass energy. Uh, yeah, so my, my number one pick is Greninja. Greninja. Ah, Greninja. So I, I like Greninja because, um, I used to I play it. I called that one too. Yeah, you did. I think I went, I got number, I got, I guessed I, number four. So I played, <laughs> I played the break, uh, with, uh, with an, uh, Greninja from, what set is that? Uh, it's Fate something. Hidden Fates. Hidden Fates. No, 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 no. <laughs> It's not Hidden Fates. Uh, um, I think he's in Hidden Fates, though. It, it's the one that had the Max Elixir. Uh, he's a, in Lost. He's in Lost Thunder, right? That's Lost Thunder. No. 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 That's, that's Celestial Storm. Yeah. No. No, it's not. Okay. Which one had Sorry. the um, Fire Crystal? Um, I don't know. Team up. No. No, the Fire Crystal the is the one after Team up. It's in the oh, that's Unbroken break Bonds. Points. Un <laughs> that's Breakpoint. Yeah. Breakpoint. That's Breakpoint. And Unbroken yeah, so, Bonds. So the Greninja Break and Breakpoint. Bonds. It its uh, ability water shuriken. It did you discard a water energy and you did you put six damage counters on one of your opponent's Pokemon. So you paired that with Starmie and Brickleet Hill and its uh, its second or its first stage evolution uh, Frogadier water duplicates. It um, lets you let you put uh, three other. Three other Frogadier on the bench. So you just... You got out pretty much everything on, like, your second turn. Because you can't evolve your first turn. So the, um... So the normal uh, Greninja that um, I played was the Shadow Stitching one. Which, until the end of your... Uh, the first one, Shadow Stitching, 40 damage. Until the end of your opponent's next turn. Each Pokemon your opponent has in play... In his or her hand or in his or her discard pile has no abilities. So it just shut off all abilities, which is always a big thing. So it got rid of, um, like, Garboder, which let me play up. Which let, well, I mean, I guess it didn't let me play items. But, um, what else, what else would it shut off? No, it shut off all kinds it, of things. If, but it was definitely, like you said, it was one of the better cards out there. It, yeah, it was played it a lot fast. A lot of people were playing it at the time. Um, unfortunately, now we don't have a real good Greninja. No, you know there was a the there was a deck for it. There was a GX deck for it at some point. I I think we have it made online, but right. Yeah, it ran four Water Energy, which some people didn't like. Yeah. So Yeah, it was it was it was pretty good. Yeah, not too bad. Not too bad. Yeah, so that was my top ten. Not a bad All list. Alright, good list. I enjoyed it. Uh, yeah. a lot of good Pokemon on there. Uh and maybe uh well probably next week we'll probably talk about some more of your Pokemon 'cause 'cause that's what we do. We th that's what we talk about, Pokemon. Yeah. <laughs> yep. so, if you so, haven't guessed it by now. If you haven't guessed it by now then too bad. I then guess. keep watching. Well, listen to it again. You'll figure it out eventually. Yeah. We got some good Pokemon to talk about next. We always have good Pokemon so, to talk about. We always have good Pokemon to talk about. So, so we uh, are going to talk about our top list of grass Pokemon that me and Nick uh, have come up with. We came up with this list together. It is our combined list of what we like. And what we're going to do is we're going to go through it and tell you why we like them and what's good about them and... What's bad about them? What's, well, not what's bad. They're all good Pokemon. <laughs> You're right. So, okay. Can I, can I start? Yeah, yeah. Go ahead and start. All right, cool. So, um, number 10 is the Shuckle. And I've always liked Shuckle because he's like a shuckle. turtle. <laughs> he's a turtle. Oh, shuckle. Shuckle, 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 and he, he is winking. Oh yeah. Yep. 
with that manga. Why? Well, I, I thought that was his nose at first. Like, it nose. Oh, yeah. half nose. Like, yeah. what well, nose? No, no well, I mean, that's what I thought. I yeah. thought it was the sideways with its eyes, eyes closed and then his nose in the front. But no, it, he's winking at me. And so Shuckle did see some play. I mean, he did play. Some people did play his uh, fresh squeezed ability, which is when you play his Pokemon from your hand onto your bench during your turn, you may search your deck for up to three basic energy cards and discard them then shuffle your deck so i'm pretty sure they were played with like uh vikavolt and tapu bulu uh, right yeah what yeah. else were they played what else was he played with um i, I mean i think he was played in a lot of odd yeah. decks and here and there oh he was played in a alolan executor oh right yeah yeah yeah, yeah. baby alolan executor um, and then, he's played in that other deck too with the uh um man i can't think of it where you need Three different types of energies. Mm. Um, I can't think of it. Is it? It's not Lugia. Three different types of energies. That yeah. sounds like the bird trio of Yeah, it is. It sounds yeah. like it, but it's not. So. And then there's also the GX, and the GX is pretty cool because, um, it, it's, its ability is very unique. Yeah, I think. Uh, it when you have so. three, when you have three, uh, you need three or more energy to attack it. Oh, okay, or there you, you go. To damage you need two, it. yeah. I think it's yeah, think three or more. Yeah, so yeah. It was three or two. I think you need a uh, um, yeah. You if you have two energy, you can't attack it. And it says prevent all damage done to this Pokemon from attacks of your po- uh, opponent's Pokemon that have two or fewer energies attached to them. Yeah, damage so. and effects. So can you poison it? Because it just said, did you just say damage? Yeah, just damage. Oh, so you so, can't poison it if you If want. it were like against the Greninja, the Greninja would have a real rough time against this Shuckle. Why? Because he only attacks for one. But right. ability. True, but still. So the Shuckle is teamed with the Arceus, that's what I was thinking of. Ah. Because, uh, oh, yeah. the Trinity Star. So yeah. We'll talk about that in another episode. Cool. Uh, but the Trinity Star is that's that's the one I've seen it with too. So, alrighty, are we ready to move on to our next we grass Pokemon? We are ready to move on to our next grass Pokemon. Boy, this one looks familiar. And we've already talked about this one today in this episode, the Rylaboom, because he's really cool. Uh, he's he's a newer Pokemon. He's just from Sword and Shield, but like we've said before that he he has a great ability and a great hairstyle he's in the same exact place too right yeah number nine number nine he's a nine he's definitely a nine that's what he averaged at yeah <laughs> so nine it is uh rylaboom definitely got a, onto the list of number nine the rylaboom v is good too just to let you guys know uh i don't know if you've seen it but and the v- we pulled the vmax last time we pulled the vmax last rainbow time? the rainbow was that last time? We pulled the VMAX Rainbow, though. I know that for sure. Maybe. It could be here and somewhere in the pile of Pokemon cards. Yeah, we have it. So Okay, we have it. <laughs> so, that's, uh, that's where we're at. It's definitely a good card. And that's why it makes number nine. Out of all the great uh, Pokemon cards, grass Pokemon cards that are out there, that's our number nine. Okay? Yeah, next we have the Scyther. Now, Scyther, he's a cool Pokemon. Like, he has the two big blade hands, and he has wings, yeah, first of all. Definitely a cool grass Pokemon, too. And, as we said before, we did, he was good in base set when we played base set. Yeah, he goes all the way back to base set, and yeah. even now, like we've talked about in our other podcast, what podcast were we talking about? The base set podcast? No, 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 no. There is another podcast that we talked about because he has. Go up to the newest one. Oh, that was our boot. That was when we opened up the box. The um, which box was it? The build and battle box. Does oh yeah, the build and battle box deck. Oh, oh it's the same as the base set one. Right, that's exactly. what we said. The that's what we went back and said. The Scyther from. The new set is the same as the Scyther from the original base set. Was it Blinding Scythe still? No, it no. had a different it name. Was it was probably else, like yeah. Slash or Chop. Yeah, I think, something I like think that. it was Swords Dance, though. It, it is Swords Dance. 
Okay. Except it's uh, obviously a different amount of damage. Yep. Yeah. Back then it was like 30, and now it's 70. So quite a bit more damage. Because than 90. Yeah. So quite a bit more damage than... Um, and Scyther could be played in almost any deck, because he's just one color, as we said before in the last... Yeah. So... Definitely a cool Pokemon. That's why he made number eight. What a, what a good number eight, if you ask me. Yeah, a really good number eight. Now this one that's uh, our number seven, He he's also a really cool Pokemon. Uh, I don't know how much play he's seeing right now, but uh, Shift Tree. And uh, one of the things that's cool about Shift Tree is he's one of the cards that they had. They had a dual type. They had a dual type, yeah, which is Grass and Darkness. So, uh, if your opponent was weak to grass or darkness, he would get the get the damage from you know the the extra damage from that. Yeah. So, and, um, he did say the GX. I don't know who else played it, but I played the GX because I thought it was cool because his attack an extra sensory was uh, one grass and two colorless, which is ninety damage. And if you have the same amount of cards in your hand as your opponent. You, it does 90 more, so you're hitting for 180 for a colorless and a grass, and that you had Copycat and Judge, and it was just a lot of fun to play. Yeah. Especially if you would play the Judge oh, yeah. on the first turn. Right. Then you would throw off your opponent while... Well, you pretty much just throwing him. off your opponent, because you couldn't <laughs> yeah, get him out first turn, but it was fun. Right. He was... Uh, one of the older ones was also banned uh, at some point. It was oh, yeah. Darkness, but... Um, so it was banned because of uh, Forest of the Giant Plants, which allowed you to evolve straight into it, your grass types to evolve straight o right away. Well, now I don't think he's banned anymore. Because no, Forest because is Forest giant, is banned now. Is banned, right. So, so its ability, Giant Fan, when you play this Pokemon from your hand to evolve one of your Pokemon, you may flip a coin. If heads, choose one of your opponent's Pokemon. Your opponent shuffles that Pokemon and all cards attached to it into his or her deck. So it just kind of got rid of all their Pokemon. Right. But this, now it's not banned anymore. The Shiftry art, though, it looks like it's a cranky old man. Yeah, a cranky yeah. old man. With a the nose that looks like a carrot. A Pinocchio nose. A Pinocchio mm -hmm. nose. It's Pinocchio when he gets old. Yep. Ready? It's an old Pinocchio. An old Pinocchio. Yeah, I'm ready. Why wouldn't I be ready? <laughs> you, I'm, you know, I never know when you're ready. <laughs> I'm always ready. Next we have number six. Number six. Which is the Celebi. Which is the Celebi. Now, Cel we both really like the Celebi. We we talked about that. We went through this list a lot. And we came up with Celebi. It, it, we were going through it and we're like, wait a minute. We didn't add in Celebi. Yeah. So we figured that Celebi made, need to make, needed to make an appearance in this list. So... That's there. where we put him at six. Yeah, he uh, it, it's kind of like a Tinkerbell kind of Pokemon, except Tinkerbell isn't a Pokemon. Yeah. So, uh, but Celebi's seen some play. Uh, he had some. Uh, the Celebi Venusaur. The Cel he's yeah, with yeah. the Celebi Venusaur right now. That uh, is a fantastic one. Is there a V? Wasn't there a Prism Star? I a thought there was a Prism, Prism Star. Star Celebi. Yeah, but I don't see it. Yeah. I'm not sure if there was a Prism Star Celebi. We'll have to our extend our search, I guess. Let's go to our collection. Oh, Let's go to our collection. Yeah. There's a Celebi V, though, now, that is being played. There's a Celebi Prism Star. Yeah, Time Distortion. That was played yeah. a little bit, right? It was played a little bit, yeah. And oh, the, and Shining Celebi, of course. Yeah, so the no, that's where we've seen a lot of play, the Shining Celebi. Yeah, with that Gyarados. With the Gyarados. Because the Gyarados GX was had a lot of GX? HP. Oh, yeah, GX. And so the Magikarp did more damage for each damage counter, and the ability lets you use the attacks of your prior evolution, so the more damage you had on your um, Gyarados. Gyarados, the more damage you're going to do with his attack. With yep. the Magikarp's attack. Yeah. Because you used Flail, I think it was. I'm not sure. Flail, yeah, I think it was Flail. Yeah, which lets you do Carpet 10 has. more damage for each damage counter on right. it. Right. Yeah. And it did, like, 30 more, I think. Oh, or it did, like, 10 more already. Killer. Yeah, definitely a cool one. So yeah. Celebi's definitely a good one to ha have. He goes, that's why he definitely made number 6 on the list. He's, yeah. Um, great Pokemon. Uh, real, Really cool to, to have. 
Next on the list we have. Is that even our My odds? turn? Or yeah, I, you're doing the odds. I'm doing the odds? Yeah. Alright, then Vile Plume it is. Uh, the, the reason we put Vile Plume on there is because he's been in format since the beginning. He's old school. He's old school. He's been in the original base set, and they keep producing Vile Plumes. Right now, we got a Vile Plume GX that's out there that's being yeah. played. And then we also have the Vile Plume. Isn't there a Vile Plume Venusaur? Or no? No, there's I just a so. GX right now. Just a GX? Yeah, just a GX that's being played. It was played, Snivy. it was played in a stall deck that I think won a regional. And then this one that's on the screen right now, it uh, was the very pollen. Deck. And one? which ones? It was an item lock deck. Okay, this yes, one's being played. The vial, this vial boom, the varied pollen. Once during your turn, you may flip a coin. If heads, choose a sleep, burn, confused, or poison. This is where Will comes in again. Yeah. yeah. Flip that coin. Hey, hey you're burned. Yeah, you know what they say in the or Pokemon sleep. community. <laughs> Will is chill. Will is chill. I think I think if you choose any of these, you choose sleep because it's least likely for you to. Why not confused? Do you well, not get the option of paralyzed? No, there's no. No, you don't get the paralyzed. Paralyzed is too good. Yep. Paralyzed yep. is the only one that stops you. Yeah. Unless you switch. The, the confused. Last is a coin flip. But yeah. a sleep stops you. Confused. I mean, yeah, I guess. Actually, you're right. Probably yeah. confused. 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 I'll take the damage. I'll take the risk of a coin flip and damage. Yeah, the Vile Plume stall was played with the Forest of the Giant Plants, as we talked about, and oh, yeah. the, and it was an item lock, pretty much. Yep. Oh, I was talking about the stall one that had Reggie Gigas in it, the stall deck with Reggie Gigas. That I I did make the deck with because, the Vile Plume. Yeah, with Vile Plume. But it Why was don't a we pull that Vile Plume up on the screen here. All so right. See it. Yeah, she would. It. I forget what it does off the top of my head. At least. Gotta go way back. There, mm -hmm. No, it's right there. No, that's a good one. Can't play item cards from his or her hand, but this one. Uh, I, I, I don't think it allowed them to evolve. Oh, no. Basic Pokemon Colin. can't attack. Yeah. So as long as that this is Pokemon disgusting. is your active Pokemon, your opponent's basic Pokemon can't attack. So it was right. just a stall. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Hold yeah. tight. It also had... um That Magikarp Shuckle. Waylord. Yeah, Magikarp Long. Waylord. Another deck with Shuckle. Yeah. Yep. Yep. Shuckle is the living le turtle legend. All right. Well, like we said, Violet Bloom's a, a original base set Pokemon, and he's just been in rotation ever since the beginning. Yeah. So next on our list of grass, we have Shine. Well, we have Genesect. I have the Shining Genesect on my screen. Now, he was steel at some times, but we're probably, we're only going to talk about the grass ones. Cause... I think he's in rotation as steel right now, isn't he? Yeah. The GX, yeah. Was uh, it was played a GX. little bit with the, um, I think. With the I dual think it's, blade. Uh, the dual items. Oh, it's yeah. not here because. The dual blade and the dual items. The item yeah, box. yeah. Right? So. Because dual blade did but more this, damage uh, to each But this item. Genesec in general, he's a real good Genesec. Yeah, he's uh, not in rotation anymore. He's not in yeah. rotation, but he's, he's the only grass one now. Oh, well, n maybe not. No, uh, there was a grass EX. Because it only showed the shining one. Yeah. Right? Yep. So, but he's definitely a good one to have in our, on our list. Uh, he's been, he was pushed up the list uh, because of the shining one and his ability that once during your turn... You may move um, a grass energy from one of your Pokemon to Finish. this Pokemon. And it went well with this attack. Right. So you can you can boost them up real quick. Yep. Wasn't he played with Vickavolt? Maybe? Or, um... I, I don't think so. Yeah. What was he played with? I know I played, like, the Max Elixir and the Venusaur with Jungle Totem. Yeah, the, um, the Venusaur Jungle Totem. Yeah, yeah. You know. So that really makes sense. Yeah, so. and I played a lot of the Max Elixirs because I can just move energies around on them. Right. So. Oh, Max Elixir. That, yeah, that yeah. was very popular. Right, and so that really made it a good deck. So I definitely yeah. like the Genesect. And he's he's a he's a basic Pokemon, so that really helped out too with 130 HP. Definitely a cool Pokemon. Good one to have is our in our top... Uh, wow, our top five. Yeah. He's in our top five. Yeah. So... Uh, you know, and then speaking of uh, speaking of Venusaur, 
That's uh, number three on our list is Venusaur. Mm -hmm. Yeah, he yes. sure is. He sure is. And we were talking about the Jungle Totem. Yeah. So here's another Pokemon that's been in around since base set. He is the original Pokemon. He is, uh, you know, he's every everybody. Number people three. love Venusaur. I mean, yeah. you're either you either love Venusaur, Charizard, Pikachu, or Blastoise. Yeah. Those are your your four that you pick that people they're just classics. love. They're classics. The, yeah, they're the classics. So that's why Venusaur made it into number three slot. Yeah. He, maybe he should have been a little higher. Yeah, but, maybe. Yeah, maybe. But we're pretty... <laughs> our last two are really high on the list, and uh, yeah. we really like them. But this this Venusaur right now, he uh, with the Jungle Totem, he's he was not even in. He's not in rotation no. right now. What's being Only played the right Venusaur now? Only the Venusaur Celebi and the Venusaur Snivy. Snivy. Yeah, the Celebi's play, being played and they're the both Snivy's being played. played. They're both yeah. being played. And the same deck. In rotate in standard rotation right now. Yeah, and uh, Venusaur is also being played in the VGC. It's used for uh, putting Pokemon to sleep. It's very fast in the sun. Its ability chlorophyll doubles its speed. In so the sun? Yeah, in the sun. That's like a terrain. Like. Oh. It's it's gotcha. like terrain, but... Okay. Yeah. And um, Bulbasaur is actually the reason why we're doing a grass list, because he's the Pokemon number one in the Pokédex. Right. And so all these all these Pokemon that we talk about that have the evolutions, that are either stage two or stage, stage one, um, we definitely think their prior evolutions are just as good as their main... Uh, the the stage two evolution or stage one evolution. So we do think Bulbasaur and Ivysaur are just as good as Venusaur. Yeah, and mm -hmm. you're probably thinking, what's so great about Ivysaur? He's amazing in Smash Brothers. And uh, if you play the Pokemon well, Trainer, well, you, you can't get to Venusaur without Bulbasaur. Well, There's that's all true. there is to it. That's true. So you need to have one to get the other. Yeah, so that's true. I also really mm -hmm. like Ivysaur because he's pretty he's cool good in Smash Brothers. Oh, there you go. I know you don't like Smash Brothers, but... Well, I don't have to like everything, right? I know. Smash so. Brothers is... Fun. <laughs> Smash Brothers is fun for you. Yes. So, anyways, getting on. Moving now right we're, we are here to our top two. The runner-up to number one. The runner-up. I actually... I actually tried to convince you that this one should be number one. Yeah, you did. You pushed me, you pushed me, and pushed me, but... I said, no thank you. Yeah. You did. So it's my turn, yeah. Um, it's, yeah. It's, uh, so our number two is Shaman. Cool. And Shaman's seen a ton of play. And he keeps seeing play. Yeah, because we got the the floral heel Shaman. Right. Which he's being played a lot for healing. Oh. This. This one. The uh the call for family one. That's not all really right. That's, yeah, it's not really played. We um, played the the flippity flap and rally back shaman. Yeah. Which one? That wasn't too bad. That lets you shuffle your hand into your deck and draw six or it does thirty for two. And then if one of your Pokemon was knocked out last turn, it does ninety more. We've kind of been over the shamans in our first video. Check out that one. That's a good one. That's a cool full art from a promo. It's, it's a not from a set. X and Y. And let's see what else. There was also the, the EX. EX. Yeah. yeah. The EX was played in every deck. Yeah, the EX, he, he's seen a lot of play because you got to uh, redraw your hand. Yeah. So. It's, uh, isn't there another one now? Uh, what What's the card called? The Eldegoss. No, Eldegoss got uh, supporters from your deck. Um, ah. What type is it? I don't know. I can't think. I'm not really sure myself. But Shaman was played for a it while. Does. Shaman there's a is, Prism Star too, right? Yeah, which he is seeing some play it's, also, because he uh, he does 30 more damage for uh, 30 more. I'm sorry. This attack does 30 damage times the amount of basic energy to attach to all your Pokemon. Yeah. So right there. Yeah. You know, you're putting a whole bunch of basic energy out. You know. So, yeah, with that uh, Rylaboom. Yeah, with even Rylaboom. if you played it with the um, Jungle Totem, too, which I don't think... Well, you wouldn't be playing them with the Jungle Totem, because it's just for basic energy. Except for Expanded. 
even in the expanded, it's the, it's basic energy. It's not. Would they not still be basic energy? Yeah. I don't think so. No. No. Huh. We'll check on that, I guess. Yeah. I'm pretty sure it won't be basic energy. All righty. When it says basic energy, that means uh, basic. When it says energy, then it's it'd be. Energy. We'll test it online. It technically would do that. I guess we'll test it online and see how it plays. All right, ready for numero uno? Yeah, let's throw numero uno up there. All righty, it's your turn. Numero uno is the executor. What's executor in Spanish? Executor. <laughs> <laughs> it's probably not wrong. It's probably if, not wrong. Any of us speak Spanish? Let us know in the <laughs> comments. And so, so we. We put, uh, this was a big debate between me and Nick. Yeah, I and thought Shaman should go number on the one. number one. And the reason uh, we did go at Executor on the number one is because he's in the base set. I figured a base set Pokemon needed to be number one. Or numero uno. As numero uno. Not a, I mean, don't get me wrong, Shaman's great, but Executor has been around since the beginning. And. Like Venusaur, and uh, what's the other one that we talked about? Um, that well, they've all been in rotation every year, uh, all the time. They're always in rotation. Yeah. Executor's always in rotation. Venusaur's always in rotation. Well, Sh and Shaman's always in Shaman's rotation. not always in rotation. Shaman's in rotation right now. Uh, Scyther, the Vileplume. Vileplume, we'll go with Vileplume. Vileplume's always in rotation too. So those are the ones that are always in rotation that we talk about, and. He, he's a great Pokemon. Uh, that secret rare from uh, Evolutions that no one could forget? That's yeah. written in Japanese? Yeah, that's a good one. <laughs> but he, he, I don't think he's seen a lot of play right now. He's seeing a little bit of play. They did change him into a dragon Pokemon. That's the Lolan, Lolan though. Yeah. Which yeah. he played. Right. Yeah, we're not going over the uh, Lolan, though. Because so... we have the original non-Lolan on our list. So that's what that's where we're at, and that is our top ten grass Pokemon. Oh, I didn't I didn't know this executor for two psychic and a colorless. It's psychic type and it's on a grassless, but oh well. Full clean, one eighty damage, and discard your hand. Oh. It's might be deck material. Might be deck material. Who knows? I mean, it's a little expensive, but for three. Malamar. For two psych. Malamar. Oh, Malamar. Yeah. Mm. Malamar. Malamar. Maybe we'll Malamar. Have to try it. <laughs> and then, like we said before, so Executor, ex Execute, uh, they. They're a team. Yeah, the base. Execute team. was played and expanded with the ability. Yeah. Uh, the, execute is just a good card, too, so. Yeah. With that being said, that's all I really have about our set. You anything about our set? Our top 10? It's a good top ten. Hope it's you liked ten. it. What'd you think, Mark? Oh, I didn't. I, I liked about it. The oh, I the Oh, the Situai. We'll talk about that next week. Yeah. <laughs> so, um, yeah. What'd you say? I liked it. Yeah. All so, the well, Pokemon are good. Well, thanks for joining us today. Yeah. And who won our, our coat? Huh? Who won our coat? Oh, you want to give away the code card? Don't I love you? giving away codes. What was our? Uh, what was it last week? It was. Was it grass? Let me, let me do a little. Yeah. Why don't you do a little dance and then come up with little, the, yeah, come up with it, whatever it is. I'll do my rain dance. Do your, do your energy dance and my, come yeah. up with the energy that it is. Oh wait, no, it's up here. Fire. Fire. And that's what I guessed last week. Fire. Did you? Yeah. Why not? Okay, I'll give you the benefit of that. <laughs> why not? I guessed fire, so I was right. And our winner and is... he was wrong. That's... Yep. You know, usually we don't guess the yeah. same thing. So That makes it boring. And our winner is, as usual, Adrian. Did he guess right this time? He didn't guess right. Oh, Adrian. Come on. The only one to guess. What are you the doing? Only Come one on, more people need to start guessing. I'm not right? going to guess. I live with them. Yeah, we got Mark here. He's going to here to coax so, you into guessing. Yeah, so we need more guesses. Like we said, if you guess and get it right... We we're giving you more than just one code card yeah, this time. Yeah, you get a plethora this time. Right? Adrian, thanks for commenting, though. It's appreciated. Yeah, we do appreciate it. So, yep, he get, he's going to guess he guessed psychic, but that wasn't right. So, Adrian, guess and guess and guess and guess and keep guessing. 
until you get it this time because we want to give you all the code cards. Yeah. So if and right, that is. hey, and VY, this is not that's not nepotism though. Vy dang, if you're out there, hey, more than one code card this time. Yeah, or bunches Shogun. and bunches. Or Shogun. Yeah, MC who, Shogun. We've seen Shogun. MC Shogun. MC Shogun. Yeah, he's commented before. He's commented. Oh, yep, yep. So, so come on, guys, let's comment, and so we can uh, give away all those codes. Yeah. So, and if you have uh, any comments or questions, please just post it in there too with your your code code uh, pick. Yeah. And uh, all right, so Mark, that, that thanks it? for joining us. Yeah, thanks, Mark. Yeah, thanks for having me. Thanks for making time in your very clearly busy schedule. Well, this yeah, is uh, this is the uh, Happy Van of Pokemon podcast, and this is Dan. And this is Nick. See and this ya. This is Mark. Bye.